Hello, my name is Jorb. I love gear. I recently did a mod. Can I get this in frame? To this. Can you see that? This is my Korg Arp Odyssey module. Rev 1 faceplate. Because I only buy things that are gray. This is about as good as a monosynth has ever been for me. Uh, but it did one thing I did not like. The LFO always reset on key press. That bothered me enough that I wanted to seek out a fix. And as it turns out, there was a mod for the original Arp Odysseys, and the schematic is similar, that you can do it on the new one. And so I found at least one recorded uh, instance of somebody doing this in an old Reddit post. And I can't get the images to load on my computer even, but it'll load fine on my phone. I don't know if they're cached or what. And all the mod entails is separating a trace between a transistor, a surface mount one really tiny, uh, and a resistor. That's it. But... Um, they just show a picture of the exact trace you're supposed to cut. And I was like, yeah, I could do that. Uh, I just blindly followed this one image on the internet. It turned out okay. Um, and so I was working on something else, and I got to a point where I couldn't proceed until some parts I ordered got here. So I said, eh, the soldering iron's already out. So I uh, cracked this open, pulled up that image. But this is super simple in theory. You need to break one trace, solder two wires, maybe drill a hole if you want to switch. Uh, the guy on Reddit replaced his high output even, so he didn't have to drill any new holes. I planned on doing a switch. We'll talk about why I didn't a little bit later, but to open it, there are screws on the back, the sides, and the bottom. They're black ones, and some of them have uh, washers, uh, but they're all the same size. I don't know if they should all have washers, and mine was just missing some because it was used and somebody had been in here, but uh, some do and some do not have washers on mine. But those all come off, and the bottom sort of part of the case will come right off. Can you see me looking down, constantly <laughs> referencing this? And then the opposite side of the circuit board that we need to manipulate is what's exposed to us at the bottom. And so you need to remove some silver screws, um, keeping that straight down, maybe disconnect some ribbon cables. If I was more patient or more cautious with my things of considerable value, I would have unscrewed more of those little daughter boards. But I opted to uh, be lazy and, in fact, probably take more time and <laughs> impose immense risk by using this insane right-angle screwdriver, which I got, and this is totally an aside, but I bought a used Mustang, and some guy used that as the tremolo arm for the Mustang. Isn't that awesome? Anyway, and I've kept it ever since. Isn't that good? <laughs> anyway, I got um, that whole main board. It's pretty much just on one big circuit board free and released you need to take all the buttons off or the excuse me the switch caps off from the other side and then carefully pull out before you pull up and once that's free maybe another ribbon cable and then I fold it over the top and all the sections are labeled and even if they weren't you could go right to where the fader was for whatever uh, section of the synth you're really interested in and I don't know how good my footage is here I don't remember and so you see a little tiny black rectangle with three legs. That's our transistor, and it's got a leg that immediately goes off to a tiny resistor. And that's the trace we need to cut. I'll point an arrow or something. <laughs> Maybe I'll circle it uh, in my footage, or if I need to use somebody else's photos, I will. Uh, and once you separate those two, uh, then your LFO is free running. Great. I wanted to add a switch between that leg of the transistor and that uh, one pad of the resistor. So in theory, the connection we just broke, if there's a switch on the back of the Odyssey, you can flick it on and now that connection is made again. And so you have this extra synthesis option. You're not just modifying this. And I, instead of scraping the trace, tried to lift that pad of the transistor. Well, that's a tiny transistor and I don't know if my iron was too hot or I applied too much force with my X-Acto knife, but I tore that trace totally off uh, and with it, a part of that um, transistor's whole casing. And so, I know, I know, we've all been there. I don't know if I got any good audio of it, but if I did, this is what I said. <laughs> if I don't have audio, I'll just fill in. No! But, uh, so now I'm stuck. I don't have any service mount transistors. I did some looking to see if I had a full-sized uh, JFET that would be a reasonable replacement, and I didn't have any parts at work. So, so I did a little bit of research, could not easily find the schematic for this. 
uh, could not easily find a replacement transistor and decided that, well, I'm going to get it as close as I can to all plug back in together and see if it works. And thankfully, it still did. And so now at that point, do I leave this half assembled for a while, get a new transistor, et cetera, et cetera. And I realized I don't need it to be on a switch. <laughs> I just want my LFO to be free running. If I really want an LFO to be resetting or uh, have it be synced or whatever, I don't know that I would be coming for this synth anyway. I think I've got enough other things that I'd be reaching for. I don't even think when I'm trying to sell this, if I told somebody uh, that was a situation they would mind that much. Is that an essential synthesis feature to people when they think of the Odyssey? Is that characterful? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> I don't think so. But anyway, there you go. And I played with the Odyssey a little bit, and I realized, remembered how much I loved it. So this is part of the Jorb Content Factory. I'm trying to load stuff up before I go uh, see some family. So there you go. I love the ARP Odyssey. It's been in my lap the entire time. Uh, and now I love it a little bit more because it works the way I expect an LFO to work. Uh, thanks for watching. If you try it, it's not my fault if you get it wrong. <laughs> I got it wrong, too. Why would you listen to me? <laughs> but I uh, hope this inspires some of you guys to think about your gear in this. I hope this inspires you to think about uh, your Odyssey specifically. Maybe you want to make this change. Maybe you have some other gear. If you want to work a little bit differently, maybe somebody's already modified it. Talk in the comments. Do the whole thing. Subscribe if you want. Don't if you think I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> my name's Pajorb. I love gear. So long. Another one in the books. I love gear. So long. Have a good day. Enjoy it. Keep it real, okay? See you guys. Don't break your shit. Don't be like me. I'm turning off the camera now.